Hey guys, it's Sam, and welcome to a little game called Retrowave. Now, I had originally done a recording to this game earlier because I got the game yesterday, but I peaked the microphone so bad that, like, I, I couldn't use the recording. So, here we are, back at it again. I've played the game a little last night. I played a little bit earlier today, and I love this game so much, and if anybody knows me, they know that I love Vaporwave, I love lo-fi, that kind of stuff. It's that, that, that kind of stuff always gets me no matter what, and this game is no exception. What this game is, is basically a runner game, but with cars and vaporwave. You try not to hit the obstacles coming towards you, and you get, and you gain points, and end up in the right-hand corner. You get points and, um, money. In-game money. And the only reason I opened up help is because I can't remember anything. I mean, other than move. Uh, boost is left shift, change camera is C, hide, show, the HUD is F1, indicator. Yeah, you can indicate too, apparently. So, F1, okay. So, you can go through with selecting a car. La when, through my first recording, I selected this Fiat. One thing, though, I hate that you can't do is you can't turn the cars. You have to wait for the camera to turn like that. And then you can change that. But, first of all, who would want to change this perfectly beautiful Trueno into orange or anything like that? Oh god, no. And I say perfectly beautiful Trueno because I'm an Initial D freak. <laughs> I love Initial D so much. Um, and I can thank a friend of mine for that. Uh, um... Ooh. Yeah, you can change tires and everything and and Ow, sorry slam my knee into my desk, but Aside from all of this, let's get into it. You have four Modes which three of them I'm only gonna do because speed bomb is What it is is basically you have a bomb on a truck, which you're not supposed to let, uh, I was supposed to throw up, uh, blow up, and if it does, end of game. But because of the incessant beeping and the constant beeping of the bomb, and because it's so annoying, I am deciding not to do this level. Go ahead and do the level if you want. If you, when you get the game, this is an early access game, and it's really cheap right now. And... I love this game so far because this aesthetic is, oh my god, key. And so we're gonna go off right now, we're gonna start with One Way, and let's go with Cyber City. So. You can indicate, apparently. Though. I'm not gonna be indicating through the game, and I don't suggest you don't do that. If you're driving, please indicate if you're changing lanes, because it's extremely dangerous if you don't, and also very illegal. Um... And you will, and you can and... You can and will get pulled over for not indicating. Um... That was my mistake. Let's do that again. I was not paying attention. And I found out that when you pause it, the music changes. You can also change cameras. Dude! <laughs> Okay, that was unfair. <laughs> oh, 
Oh yeah, here we go. We got some 80s aesthetic with this. Let's go. Mm. Oh, let me move my mouse out of the way. This is like an exercise video sort of aesthetic. Yo, actually. Oh yeah. Let's go, let's go. Mm hmm. I know, I'm just making weird ass fucking noises, but it's just. Oh my god. Oh, uh, this game surprises me in the most pleasant of ways. I'm speeding up really quickly. Okay, the speed's going down, but look at the trail. Oh lord. Look at the trail, the light trail, and it gets longer the faster you go. Oh my god, this aesthetic. I'm sorry, I'm fangirling so bad right now. This is so good. Oh, I love this. And then when you change it back again, it changes into the car. Like the steering wheel, the pa uh, the driver's side, and it's really disorienting, and so I'm trying to avoid that, and then I die. I'm trying to avoid that, so... Let's move on to... Um... Two-way. Oh yeah, there are a bunch of other cars here, which I only know two of them. I don't know this one. This is the original car you get when you start the game. I... If anybody knows what car this is, let me know in the comments, please. I don't know what car this is. I only know two of the cars, that of which is two and a half, which is this is a Fiat, and basically this is a Tr Corolla. It's, this is the A6 Trueno. If anybody knows Initial D, is the main uh, character's car, and I'm so happy that it's here because I'm a big, like, I have such a I fangirl over so like, I fangirl so much for Initial D, I can't. Uh, and this is probably a Ferrari? I- I might be very wrong, I don't know cars all that well, but the fact that, uh, I- I was talking to a friend of mine the other day about this, or no, yesterday, about this game, and he kept calling out car names and I'm sitting here going, what are you talking about? Like, I'm not very well versed in cars, but uh, with in-game money, you can buy cars, and this one's 7,000. So this one, I don't know what this is, but I, I, tell me what car this is. And we're gonna go with the Trueno, we're gonna go with the Tried and True Panda in the two-way, and we're gonna go with Space Beach. Let's go. Sorry for blowing into the mic. Oh yeah, all right, two-way, yeah. Two-way, there are two sides to the street, obviously. Um, you are technically supposed to be on the right side. And I died. You are technically supposed to be on the right side, but you can be, again, you can go on the other side as well. It'll just tell you that you're going the wrong way, and then that account that amounts to how much money you whoop to how much money you win. Oh, don't swerve. All right, that was my bad. That was entirely my bad. So let's try this one more time because I'm not leaving without getting a proper functioning score of at least the thousands. Oh, I thought I screwed up really quick. Oh, god damn it. <sighs> let's try this again. All right, let's start picking up the speed. 
Oh lordy! No! Okay, that- I just- that was horrible. <laughs> Let's do that again, because I'm not satisfied. Okay. True to popular belief, only when somebody is watching am I- uh, am I really this bad at it. I should stop playing chicken with the rest of the cars and not be in the middle of the line. Oh boy! Oh lordy! Oh, but it's such an adrenaline rush. Especially when you get faster. Ooh. Okay. Alright. Yeah, okay, I'm happy now. Okay, we're just gonna go off and do the time attack. So, time attack. Let's go. It's basically... We're gonna go rainy city. It's basically where you go... And try to be get, gather as much of a score as you can before time runs out. <sighs> Ooh, boy. Oh, God. That was... Oh, Lord. Oh, God dang. Oh, goodness. I... No? Yeah, no, I just started seeing a hell of a ton of cars just all of a sudden. All right, let's play until the timer runs out. Generally, if anybody knows me and they know me well, I love vape. I love vaporwave aesthetic, lo-fi, synthwave, like dark. Si okay, like dark synthwave. I love all that kind of stuff. That stuff really gets me going. It's amazing. And oh my goodness, I just can't. I love it. And true to form, am I listening to Vaporwave Europe, the final countdown? Sounded like that for a second. Oh lord, oh fuck. Okay. All right. I love I'm 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 serious about letting the timer go out. I'm Every time the music turns on, I die a little on the inside in such a good way. I love this music so much. Like Like vaporwave aesthetic is all the shit. Like you can I can't even begin. I can't even begin. To explain like okay so basically what happened what's supposed to happen because I keep dying is that when the timer runs out you basically get how much uh, points you get out of it and like I explained before all of this was the t time bomb or bomb attack was you're basically in a truck where you're trying to you know not explode and the bomb's health really matters on um, whether you hit cars or not. I mean, you can definitely hit cars head on, but they'll stay attached to the um, truck and they'll kind of take you, and you'll kind of take it with you, but that'll so seriously very quickly deplete um, the, um, the health of the bomb that you have with you. So, with this amount of money, you can generally buy new things for your car. Like that. Whatever I just picked was either a check engine light or more fuel. Or something with doing with the engine. But you could totally get, like upgrades and whatever to to the car and pick whatever car you want to and all that and this stuff is 
Mm, my jam. I absolutely love this. Why is it not going away now? God dang it. Okay. I'm gonna... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna die real quick so that I can just show off the car. I chose the wrong goddamn car for it. I chose the Fiat instead. I was completely not meaning to. I wanted my Troino, but... That was deliberate. I wanted that to happen so that I can get to the main menu and not have this. But! That is Retrowave. It's an early access game that deals with a lot of Vaporwave, uh, Synthwave, 80s stuff that, and cars and stuff. And so if you're really into that kind of stuff, I suggest you take a look at the game. Uh, I'll post a link to the game in the description below. It is such a good game. Oh my god, I am in love. Sorry, I covered my mouth. I am in love with this kind of stuff. Um, it's just so pretty. It's so beautiful. I just... Vaporwave really gets me. <laughs> I mean, really gets me. I love Vaporwave so much. The music is so good. And... Oh my god, I, I can't even begin to, like... I'm gushing about this because, oh my god. Uh, like I said, early access game. You can check it out in the description below. Um, I hope you guys are having a great time in quarantine. Playing games, watching movies, doing all that kind of stuff. But uh, wherever you are, I hope you have a great morning, afternoon, or evening. And uh, thanks for watching. If you like this kind of content, Hit that, hit the subscribe button and ring that bell button so that you don't miss a thing. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.